welcome to Rumbling with a Variety. It's been a s- sweet while. A s- hot second. Or sour, sour wild. <laughs> what happened? How come we haven't been recording this lately? This is tomato. Woo, woo, ah, ah. We have a special edition. How come? What have we been doing since we haven't been recording? Oh, we haven't had any time. <sighs> sports. Sports. <laughs> Okay, but okay. we're gonna give my mommy an interview. You're gonna wait, wait. You're gonna interview me. Mm-hmm. We already talked about this, okay? Okay, what are you gonna about her with? arm? Her her arm that she had NF on. You gotta say what NF is. Necrotizing fasciitis. Which is huh? like a in back. Do you yes. have infection? And it eats you. Rah. And it wants to destroy you. And I heard you. they're safe for life. Yes, you did, baby girl. <laughs> yes, you did. And you were only... Like, were you four? Yeah. Okay, four. turn on TV so you can focus. Sorry. I know. Four years old. Right? Because yeah. Bubs was six. Okay. tell you, You're you interviewing me. I'm not. Uh, How did it happen? Um, It was March 24th. Of 2017, and I got up that morning. Okay, I went to work out. You're looking at the TV. No, Turn I'm it off. At you. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Why is the TV playing tricks? Okay, it was March 24, 2017. You can Google Angie Edstrom necrotizing fasciitis. Does it, does it show up? Yes, it shows up. <laughs> and um, I. Went and I worked out. I actually swam that morning. And then I went to work. And then I came home and I was meeting my mother-in-law. And I got into, I got, I met her at Walmart, right? To get you, right? Yeah. And I said, Ryan May, what did I do to my hand? And it literally was a very, it was a nickel yeah. size. It was like this big. Red. No, it wasn't red. red. It was just raised. It was just raised. And bet- on my right hand, in between my um, knuckle, here, 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 can I see it? Show them where it would have been. In between my knuckle like, and my ring finger, ring right finger and pinky. Yep, it was right there. Right yep, it was just an itty bitty ring size place. It didn't hurt, but it felt a little uneasy. Okay, you yeah, you keep asking questions. Uh. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's how, how. How long? How long were you in the hospital? For? Okay, we didn't get to the full extent story, okay, baby. I, so that's that's when something I thought was wrong. What did we do that night? I did actually oh, two things. Um, she went to a like a party. Yes, but what did I do before that? Um, took sutures out of Ken. What's her name? Oh. Briggs' daughter. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Briggs' daughter. Yeah, that's her name. <laughs> Kel- Kel- Kellen. Kellen. I took sutures out of her somewhere. Her head. I'm a nurse. Like I've been a practice nurse. Maybe? Yeah. And my hand was stiff, and I could, it, I, it was cruising down my arm like an inch an hour, and I could tell it was a little, it was a little uneasy. So then we went to tell Avery's boy, Calves. Calvin's for second, for third. It was one of his birthdays. He's yeah. a little boy. And she played basketball in their basement. I did. And what did I talk about the whole entire night? Your hand. What is wrong with my hand? What is wrong oh, with yeah. my hand? What is wrong with my hand? What is wrong with my hand? What is wrong? That's all I talked about. Which I really didn't know. I thought I might need an EpiPen. I thought maybe I was allergic to something. Something. Mm. And then, do you want to tell a story? No, oh, just ask me questions. So we're uh, what, we're at the what, time after what happened at Avery's then that night. That night, in the middle of the night, I became super super ill. Um, Aren't you glad that didn't happen in the day though? Wait, no. Yeah, it was cruising. So that night I did, when we got home, I sent a picture of 
good hand and bad hand and sent it to my mommy and daddy. And, um, and I said, I don't know what I did with that. I don't know what I did. I might need Epi. I think I even took a Benadryl that night. It didn't help. But, um, Bri, I think you were in bed with me. And Daddy was in bed. And then in the middle of the night, I started throwing up, having diarrhea, passing in and out. And um, Daddy said, oh, my God, you got the flu. And my hand hurt the, the worst pain in the whole entire world. And he took me and slept in my bed, <laughs> yeah. which I had a mini mouse bed. I know what you're so silly. <laughs> and he went in there. <laughs> And then I came to my senses eventually. Eventually. The pain was so terrible. I didn't know how I could ever... I didn't know how to ever was going to survive. But I did. Called my mommy and I said, You have to take me to the ER now. I actually drove. Met me at um, Home Depot. And it took forever. Uh, she almost... She was... Um... Um, this is not a question, and I'm kind of skipping to like the middle part. But she was, she was, she, um, her nurse, her doctor had to convince her to, um, because she really wanted to watch KU game, to, oh, and she had to go into surgery. But she was gonna rather die or lose her arm if she didn't. <laughs> so I chose surgery. KU lost that. I didn't want to. I know. So we did. We went to KUER because that's where I work. And I um, sat behind the triage desk, put my hand, head on the table. At this point, I was not on pop over like, huh, what's wrong with you? You can't move. It's just your hand. No, Angie couldn't move. Angie couldn't move. Angie about fell. Anyways, um,. They took my blood pressure, and it was in the 60s. And I said, I'm good or bad? That's bad. And what? I said, oh, Lord my I. gosh, I'm septic. I had a bloodstream infection from an F. It's bacteria eating my arm. So, meanwhile, um, they consulted plastics, went through a few, a few, a few CT scans. How many staples did you have to have in your arm? Your are so fast forwarding. Plastics, mm -hmm. nah. Oh, they don't show anything. CT, NF and, and doesn't show anything on CT scan. So eventually went to ICU, right? Yeah. And KU was on. It was March Madness. And my buddy, surgeon, came in and I'm like, I know you. Yeah, I know him from like how many years ago? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Angie may have been a little delirious. And I was trying to tell him to let me watch KU. He's like, girl, you I'll save your arm, but you're going to have ugly, ugly scars. No. Or if you, wait, and I will save your life and your arm. And I went on to watch KU. And I said, mm, let's it's go like to surgery. So I did. I went. K U lost. Ended up getting free K U tickets. Um, but and you didn't take me. How offended! I know. I helped you. You what did. Dylan do. Mm. Told me my hand looked like pizza. And yeah. And what did I do? Everything. Exactly. She gave me I V and a bad at four years old. Why did you take me? So, what? What was it? Four surgeries, six days. 30 days later, had a skin graft, had poopy, a lie. Poop, what, what? Poop, see that? Ryan got to get out of school a lot early. She was only in preschool. But let's tell the story of Ryan and the red. We don't, red we don't talk actually. about that. Yes, we are. No, Pops will no. not watch this. Are you sure? Well, I kind of read. I always got red Sonic slushies after because... I was a good girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I spilt it, and then Nana... Um, no, I hopped out of the car like a mom ninja, car. and there was a red sweatshirt. A sweatshirt? Yeah, and I put it on there. 
Well, there's also a really big red stain under the carpet. Just don't look under there, Papa. Okay, sound good. And I'm. It, it was definitely not in the trooper. Definitely. 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 One time when I was in the hospital, guess what I saw? Oh, what was your dream about? No, you say it. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> I was delirious. Oh, I was daydreaming. I was delirious. Oh, no. What was I? Well. I saw two monkeys. They were swinging. They were swinging and they were fighting to like get in a um, swimming pool, which <laughs> happened to be the lights. And the um, pre-op nurse, when I came for my skin graft, she's like, all you kept saying is my babies, my babies, I miss my babies. That's me, my but, and it's my and it's dude. But they were fighting to get into the swimming pool. That was yeah, very sounds annoying. Like us. Sounds like you. But we played old maid in the hospital, right? And there wasn't there like another nurse named Ryan or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Another nurse. We got to go present multiple places. We went to Chicago. We pre- presented at KU. My story, because it's hilarious. There's a lot of pooping, and I always, I for some reason wore good underwear. Don't ask me why. I had C diff, right? Mm-hmm. And uh. Nana, Nana and Ryan were my rocks. I had to put the little, what were they, like, vaccine things? Or not vaccine. Little thing. What were they called? The on your arm. The dressing and the sleeve? The wound vaccine? Or, no, that, that Nana couldn't put in, so I had to on your arm. The IV. Yeah, she, the IV. Ryan was four and gave me IV antibiotics. I coached softball with the womb back. I ran on a treadmill with the womb back. She swam in a lake with a womb back. I didn't have a womb back on at that time. Oh. I had a trash bag on my arm on a was on a tube and got very sunburned on my butt. Your butt? <laughs> <laughs> you had something that you put your arm in that looked like a cheese. Mm. Yeah, it did. It that was thing that you went the yellow. There. It was a um yes, it did. It did look like a cheese. But I tell you, that skin graft, the and I played softball. How many surgeries did you have? Um, Four and six days. And then 30 days later, actually it was on Jason's birthday. So April 26th, I had my um, skin graft surgery. So you had And then I five. went back to work on June 2nd, which was Nana's birthday. So I had five surgeries. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you and Nana were my little rocks. Dylan told me my hand looked like a pizza. I also told you. You can Google it. If you're watching this, Google Angie Edstrom Necrotizing Fasciitis. If you don't know how to spell it, just put an F. <laughs> just, good luck. It's hard for to spell. I don't know how to I was it. also on the board. Then I did... Weren't you like some survivor of the not month or something of something? Yeah, it's 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 been. Yeah, it's and then okay. you know a couple other people who had NFT. I do. Who I survived? Do. Yeah, they actually were patients at KU, and I got to meet them, and um. And you still t- and, and you be st- with them. And you still tell people about the story today. I do. And I we do. We have hats that says. We do. Three, two, four. Three, two, four. I was about to say three, ten. Three, two, four. Hey, it's, March 24th. It's like two, three, four. Three, three two, two, four. four. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Sheena. But yes. Yeah. Um, It changed my life. It probably changed yours. Oh! It's that upside was. Down. It's upside down. <laughs> That's wild. But um, now we have scars, and then eventually, when everything healed, what did I do? I did everything. Pew, beauty pics. Huh? Beauty pics. What's that? Remember the pictures Savannah did? Me? Oh yeah, and she went got in a magazine. Oh, I did get in a magazine. And you were like, you're always, you were like, you're like, you're like. I did. I forgot I was in a magazine. Oh, and gosh. you sat and like, it's like a thing of roses. 
Yeah. So pretty. Yeah. It was so pretty. No, it was crazy. And I, um, most people, uh, just a few stats, one in four, lose a limb. And, um. You weren't one of those people. You are so I am a survivor. And mortality rate is not good. So, thankful for, shout out to Dr. Waller at KU. And my surgeon. And Ryan and Nana. Lifesavers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take the candy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good experiences. Just gave us a little Two twice. So, okay. Two minutes. Christmas, what are you thankful for? Oh, life lesson. Uh, If you have a choice between one of your favorite sports teams games or surgery, I would go into surgery. Life lesson. Life lesson. Go to surgery. Don't watch KU. Yeah. I mean, do, but Bill or, Self got me, like, and my surgeon and his daughter and my son. Uh, you still didn't take me. I still didn't take her, but we were, like, <laughs> second row up, and it was bomb diggity. Even though the surgeon was a case tape fan. And you Boo. didn't take me. You're going to be next. But yes, go to surgery. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Christmas, it's not Thanksgiving, but Christmas, I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and Jesus. Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Jesus. Jesus. And our house, clothes, shoes, food, and water. You know what I'm thankful for? And my teacher is fine. This is on my journey to leave. You know what I'm thankful for? That our pipes didn't bust yesterday because our laundry washer pipes were froze. And we almost got stuck at home because the car <laughs> broke down. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> that wasn't my car. That was you guys. I was at work. Well, peeps, Sorry. have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And um, thank you for enjoying this episode of rambling with Raiji. Very, very long ago. Which we have been busy and we're sorry. But Ryan wanted to interview me. Anything else you want to ask me? Ask me one one sincere question. Like what? Well, that, that one was an interview. I don't know. My hand's getting tired. Uh. Does Ryan still rub my scars? If you oh, I had like one hundred um if sutures, you, and I took my and I took out my own sutures. If you didn't have, uh, do you think um? I mean staples around my skin. Do you graft. think if you didn't have enough or get enough from whatever you got it from, would it have changed your life? So you're saying if I didn't get enough? Yeah, would it have been any different? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. I don't think so. I have full function from my hand. I can I can show people. You're just as beautiful with it inside it. I have scars. And I have a lot of scars. It goes all the way up to basically my arm, both sides. She has one on her leg. And I have one on my leg. <laughs> girl, myself, ball team, or my old softball team. <laughs> she said, thought it was my is, is that a sunburn? Of your phone on your leg. Yeah, it doesn't tan. My my, where they took the skin on my leg doesn't tan. Yeah, I don't think I would change. I think um, there's a lot of neat stories that came out of when I had enough. Me and Nana got to see what it was at the solar eclipse. Or am I making that up? Oh, uh, you got to go to Chicago. And yeah, I went to there. Chicago. We walked every single day. Um, Start it ended on exactly 20 seconds. I one so time weird. put oatmeal in the bathroom. I was delirious still. Oh, and? Medicine. Huh? Dylan's been sick on almost every Christmas. But he's not tonight. Except for this Christmas. I'm like, say jinx him, but I won't. Unless this Christmas and like last Christmas. Yeah, I'm thankful <laughs> for my babies. I'm thankful for And my day. family and Jesus. And have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. We love you all. And this was not a funny episode. This was Angie Edstrom surviving on three. One, two, three. 
Necrotizing fasciitis. We gotta land it exactly on it. Right on it. Bam, 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 bam.